Welcome to Bloodbath and Beyond. Today I'm reviewing Season 1, Episode 1 of Ash vs. Evil Dead. This show stars Jill Marie Jones, Dana DiLorenzo, Ray Santiago, and of course, Bruce Campbell as Ash Williams. Ash vs. Evil Dead takes place 30 years after the events of Army of Darkness. Once he's returned home, he's just living the slacker bachelor life, living in a trailer, and frequenting a pub where he gets liquored up and picks up women. Unfortunately, he's rather careless one night, he's blackout drunk, he brings a woman home to his trailer, where they proceed to read the Necronomicon because she says that she's into poetry. We all know what this means. It means there's a rise of deadites that he's been trying to forget about for the last 30 years. They're back and they're ready to cause havoc in Ash's world. What's nice about this show is it feels like it belongs in the Evil Dead universe. Ash is the same old guy that we love. He just has grown up. He's still got the witty one-liners and he's still trying to be a womanizer, constantly trying to hit on chicks, and it's hilarious. So Ash is currently working in Value Stop. For some reason or another, they couldn't lock down S-Mart, but you know, it's the same exact atmosphere where he's just working as a stock boy. And it's here where we meet Pablo and Kelly, played by Ray Santiago and Dana DiLorenzo. Having these characters join the cast and be a central part of the story is fantastic because they're young, they don't know anything about the Deadites, so we kind of get a hint towards the end of the episode that Bruce is going to be training them to kind of come with him to fight the Deadite army. And it's really nice to see that dynamic because it's something that we haven't really seen before and I know it's going to add for a lot of comedy throughout the series because Bruce doesn't really know what he's doing to begin with, so for him to play the mentor to these two younger characters, I think it's going to be hilarious. The comedy in the first episode was fantastic. It really set the tone for the story, and I think everybody who likes the original series is going to get a kick out of it. And while this show is hilarious, it does have some genuine scares, uh, especially towards the beginning where they introduce Amanda. She's a cop played by Jill Marie Jones, and she's just kind of investigating this house, and she stumbles upon some deadites. She has to fight them. There's a big action sequence, and this is where we're introduced to the first bit of gore that we see in the series, which is fantastic, by the way. This episode has tons of gore, it has tons of deadites, so you do get to see possession right off the bat. The makeup looks great in a somewhat comical way, but I mean, it's still really, really well done. And so is all of the gore. Overall, the production value is fantastic. Um, we've got some great cinematography, amazing lighting that is definitely a throwback to the Evil Dead series, and even some of the camera moves that will remind you that Sam Raimi is at the helm um, is fantastic. If I have any qualms about the series so far, the visual effects, like the CG stuff, wasn't composited as well as I'd hoped it would be. I mean, there's lots of practical effects being used and the CG elements really stand out because they don't look like they live together. Now this is nitpicky and usually I wouldn't care, but we've been spoiled because of stuff like Hannibal and Hemlock Grove who have fantastic visual effects teams and fantastic compositing that make everything seamless. So when you see something CG in this, it definitely stands out and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Overall, I think season one, episode one, of Ash vs. Evil Dead is fantastic. Any fans of the series are going to love this. It's great to see Bruce Campbell donning the Ash gear once again. It's also nice to see Ash team up with Pablo and Kelly to fight Deadites together because I know that it's going to create some amazing situations and it's going to be a riot. It's also nice to see that we saw a Lucy Lawless cameo in this, which leads me to believe that she's going to be probably a major player in the series. The production value is high, there's tons of gore, there's tons of comedy, and I highly recommend this show. So I'm going to give this four and a half crack dentures out of five. As always, thank you for watching, like this video, and if you haven't seen the show, you can check it out in Canada on the Super Channel and in the US on Stars. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you've seen it, if you haven't, you need to check it out. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay updated with our reactions, reviews, and games of What Would You Do.